Hello everybody, welcome to my channel Thailand with Shalita. Are you ready to join my adventure at one of the most fancy restaurant in Bangkok named Ga Restaurant which costs 150 US dollar per person for 12 different menu. Oh my dear. Thanks for Mr. Savi from America that booked me for this restaurant tour today. I'm happy to do any kind of tour with you guys, but not something weird though. Feel free to contact me. Anyway, don't go anywhere until I present you all menu until the end of the video. How about let's start with this very first one called Shot, considered as an appetizer for today. Well, it's kind of look weird. Believe me, all food that you're about to see in this video, you can never find anywhere else because they have been designed by chef uniquely and each dish has its own characteristics. This one is a frozen pomegranate fruit with a yogurt and a beetle leaf on top. Well, it tastes so good for starting. Next menu with this cute white bowl here called Paniyaram is a snack from south of India. The yellow thing on top is a uni chili toast and the Bombay sandwich. But all of these are very unique tastes. Oh my god, I could not really describe how it tastes like. The bread is so soft and there is something inside here. It's made of the uh, yu red dill and the uh, rice. This one is my favorite menu so far called DIY Tuna Bell Kakra. It's a combination with the Thai salad, Japanese sashimi style because of the tuna, and the Mexican and the Indian style because of the leaf. Oh my gosh, from many nationalities. Mix it up together and put in the two crispy wrap here as you can see on top on this nice bowl. Not done yet guys, there's still a long way to go. These tiny round things are better leaf, fat and trout, roll, ramp and rice. Well, I love the lamb pretty much so far and the rice underneath it mixed with the cherry thing or oh, it has so sweet full of flavor wow it's really good i love this so far i smell good Weird in the beginning, and after you shoot everything, mix them together, it's feel good. Yeah. This one is surin rice, pickle, mustard and tamarind cola. Well, the rice one itself was pretty awesome and I can feel how healthy the rice is. But the tamarind cola drink just sound pretty weird and also tastes kind of weird to me as well. But you know, just something unique. My rice is a special young rice from Surin province. You can get like a sweet milk and a milky for this one. Uh, our chef so paid together with tea. Oh, tea? Yes. Yeah. We were just talking about tea. Yeah. Okay. With the curry leaf oil. Oh, what can they mean? Very interesting mix of ingredients. Yeah. It's like at least a dozen ingredients. I'm sorry? Just talked about. It's just it's like, like 12 different things in there, right? Like based on oh. We actually don't go with a lot of ingredients. We try to focus on. Uh, Less ingredient but with more flavors. Okay. Yeah. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. yeah so less of the better. Yeah. As you say. Yeah, it's loving it. Right? Yeah. So far, we try to focus on the key key ingredients and taking the maximum flavor out of it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we have macadamia here. This is a macadamia macadamia milk and the crab together. Macadamia sauce. Mmm, the crab. Oh wow. Very unique. Next up, what we have is uh, grilled pork belly. So the belly is cooked in 24 hours. Belly. And then it's finished on the grill with some smokiness and it's glazed with tamra. Tamra? Yes. Sweet. Like a tamarind chutney which we have back in India. Love it. 
with the flavors of that. Wow. Right? I mean, I wouldn't compare it to yeah, a tandoori chicken, it's not, it's not, but, but it has a smoky the flavor. Smoky, yes, yeah, you can. Smoky. In that sense, yes. All right. So along with that, we have a couple of toppings, okay. which is uh, we have pomegranate, which is glazed with uh, pomegranate glaze. Mm -hmm. So it's pomegranate on pomegranate. We have some fresh onions. Alright, at the end we have uh, coriander stems, which is seasoned with a bit of coriander oil. It's the star dish of the night. Wow. Oh, I can say that. <laughs> is this last dish of the night? <laughs> uh, yes. The last of the savory. Okay. Um, so next uh, what we have for you is crayfish. Uh, underneath that we have Fish. Uh, tomato chutney with uh, crispy rice on the side. And this the prawns that you see is nutrition, so it gives a bit of uh, pepperiness to the whole dish mm. and with some uh, curry beef. Some um, curry beef, okay. Yeah. Um, but we have a sauce along with it, which is a very, very special sauce. Um, so whenever you make cheese, you have the water that falls down, which is called the whey. So we ferment that whey for four to five days. Oh. And then it's reduced Ferment it to four to five days, yeah, wow. And then you can sauce out of it. So the sauce <laughs> is cheesy without adding any cheese to it. So that's a bit of the sauce in it, which uh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so makes it really, really interesting. Cheesy. Oh, and then mix this here. Oh, wow. Very juicy. So this is the, the crawfish, right? And the underneath is some kind of tomato, to tomato sauce. Tomato chakli as some kind of Indian Indian style, mm. and uh, we mix a crispy noodle here with the uh, fish. Oh, the fish is has a pretty tough texture. It's not same kind of fish like, that we had. It's like it's, a, it's like a shrimp roll. Yeah, yeah. It, is. it is like a shrimp, yeah. right? Let's try. Oh, smell, smell good. Sm smell like a tomato. Um. Mm. It's pretty light. I never tried this kind of fish before. So, it's very popular in um, uh, Creole. Creole? Creole is like a French African. Uh, I mean, this, this is for. Uh, so, the restaurant can only. Uh, welcoming egg table today so this is kind of orange jelly with the pomelo and uh, what is it on top the yellow thing no mango sauce and some jelly here and pomelo all mixed together this is orange wow really refreshing this is quite heavy dessert though huh you don't have to eat the the whole thing, so mm -hmm, this kind mm -hmm. of thing. But it's, it's kind the of butter good. is really good. Mm -hmm. yeah. And some, what is it, uh, orange color here? Uh, that's called, that's made from uh, uh, lentil. It's it's uh, lentil. called ladu. It's a ladu. sweet. Oh, ladu, that's smash yeah. ladu. It's smash really ladu good. sherry, it. that's the one. Really yeah. Smash that's ladu, sherry, granita. So this is a dessert. It looks like a cow here to me. It tastes like a cake. Like you're eating cake and it's very soft. It's so creative about it. So this, this is the um dessert chair for sure. Wow. It doesn't really taste like the way it looks. When you just look at this and you have no idea how it's gonna taste like. But once you just put it in your mouth, you just Really, that's at first in the beginning. I, my mind came up because it's orange. I thought it's gonna be a bit sour, right? And it's, it's not sour at all. It's like you get the cake type of taste. Okay, <laughs> is this wonderful? <laughs> Isn't that wonderful, right? Yeah. Wow, amazing how they like make and how they cook it. Really. So I start from here and uh, yeah. all the way here, and then drink after this. I mean, oh, you can uh, have it together. I'll oh, have yeah. together? Yes. Oh, I see. The so, same way you drink tea with uh, sweet tea. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, take this and then drink. Wow. 
a very some of the cuisines uh, are very uh, cinnamon, uh, cinnamon and uh, cumin 